Hello everyone. Let's start this session with an interesting story. There were two friends, Dave and Joe. One day at their village there was a ladder tournament. Person on the mic, whoever will reach a peak point and collect the flag and step down to the same place will get the prize. Dave and Joe both decided to participate in the competition. So, there were two ladders placed like this. At the first ladder, Dave was there. On the other ladder, Joe was there. Friends, who do you think who will reach faster? Hmm. Do you all think Dave? Yes, friends. You got it right. Dave easily climbed the ladder and collected the flag and stepped down and won the prize. But how and why? The height of the ladder was the same and also they did start at the same time. Then what must be the reason well your brain just apply the mathematics to get to the answer if you see carefully the steps of dave's ladder are parallel to each other whereas the steps of joe's ladder are not parallel to each other therefore dave easily climbed the steps so friends today in this session we are going to learn more about this parallel lines now let's look at this image Have you ever thought why these lines are always at the same distance apart and never intersect? What are these lines known as? Yes friends, these are all parallel lines which never touch or intersect to each other. Now, in the case of Dave and Joe's ladder, let's take any three steps on a plane and label them P, Q and R. And vertical lines are also known as transversal lines. as t1 and t2 in first figure parallel lines p q and r intersecting transversal lines t1 and t2 so let's say l m and n are points at which the transversal intersects the parallel lines now the distance covered by the transversal between these parallel lines is called as intercepts like here lm and mn are intercepts on transversal t1 and xy and yz are intercepts on transversal t2 so here if you will see carefully lm equal to xy and mn equal to yz Can you think why this is correct? Yes. Distance between two parallel lines is always same. Hence, LM equal to XY and MN equal to YZ. And in the second figure, let's say the lines L, M and N intersecting transversal lines T1 and T2. And AB and BC are intercepts on transversal t1 and pq and qr are intercepts on transversal t2 here if we will see carefully ab is not equal to pq and bc is not equal to qr this is the reason why joe was feeling difficulty while climbing the ladder as the steps were not equidistant from each other that is they were not parallel to each other Also we just saw that lm equal to xy and mn equal to yz Now if we take these three parallel lines intercepts on transversal t1 and t2 can we find any relation between them What about their ratios will they be equal That is lm divided by mn equal to xy divided by yz Yes, we can as it is at an equidistant point on transversal lines. Okay, but what if the distance between parallel lines are not equal? For example, let's say LM and XY equal to 2 cm and MN and YZ equal to 4 cm. Let's see whether we are getting the ratios lm divided by mn equal to xy divided by yz by substituting the values we will get 1 divided by 2 equal to 1 divided by 2 well we can see here the ratio of the intercepts is equal 
as the transversals were also parallel to each other. But what if we move transversal lines around? Do we get the same result? Let's see. Here it's given line P parallel to line Q parallel to line R. T1 and T2 are transversals. Transversal T1 intersects the line in points L, M and N and T2 intersect the lines in points X, Y and Z. We have to prove LM divided by MN equal to XY divided by YZ. So how we are going to prove this? If we will join XN, we will get two triangles, triangle LNX and triangle NXZ. Now here we have a triangle and a pair of parallel lines. So which theorem comes in your mind? Which deals with all these and ratios of the side of the triangle? Did you guess basic proportionality theorem? Yes, that's correct. Let's see. In triangle LNX, MO is parallel to LX. Therefore, LM divided by MN equal to XO divided by ON. This would be my first equation. Similarly, in triangle NXZ, OY is parallel to NZ. Therefore, XO divided by ON equal to XY divided by YZ. This would be equation 2. Therefore, from equation 1 and 2, LM divided by MN equal to XY divided by YZ. So here we can see that the ratio of the intercepts made on a transversal by three parallel lines is equal to the ratio of the corresponding intercepts made on any other transversal by the same parallel lines. Let us solve one example based on the theorem. In figure, if PQ is parallel to LM is parallel to XY and if PL equal to 6 cm, LX equal to 3 cm, QM equal to 10 cm, then find the length of MY and QY. Here is given, therefore, PL divided by LX equal to QM divided by MY. On solving this, we will get x equal to 5 cm, that is, length of my is 5 cm. Are we done here? No. Also, we have been asked to find the length of qy, as from the figure qy equal to qm plus my, therefore, length of qy is 15 cm. Now, let's cross check the solution. Now try to solve the next question on your own and write your answer in the comment box. I hope you guys have enjoyed the session. Do like this video and comment down any queries that you have. Don't forget to hit the bell icon and never miss another update from Let's Tune.